What does everybody want? Juicy is right. Oh, that tall, dark, handsome-looking fellow you're looking at is me. I guess you're wondering what's going on here. Well, it all started about 10 days ago when I was invited to a reunion of my old army outfit. You can't do it. No matter how hard you try, it just won't fit. I don't understand it. It must have shrunk since I got out of the army. <laughs> Were you a hero in the war, Dad? Well, I don't like to brag, Eddie, but when I get up out of that foxhole, the enemy would take one look at me in this uniform and run. <laughs> Come to think of it, a lot of our guys used to look at me and run, too. Well, you can forget about wearing it to the reunion. It just doesn't fit. Look, this is the first time in 20 years the guys from my old outfit are getting together. They're all going to be wearing their uniforms at the banquet. How will it look if I'm the only guy to show up in civvies? They'll all stare at me. Herman, I don't want you to go at all. I know what goes on at those so-called reunions. Besides, if there's one thing you don't need, it's a banquet. Just look at you. What's wrong with me? What's wrong? You're too fat. That's what's wrong. Fat? Me fat? Yeah. Marilyn, I ask you, am I too fat? Well... Never mind. What's yelling at Marilyn for? I mean, don't you know that fat men are supposed to be jolly? That's not the issue. Herman, if you go to that reunion, you'll be away overnight. Really? Oh, Herman, we haven't been separated in over a hundred years. Excuse me, it's just one night. I know just the way Lily feels. I felt the same way about Grandma. Oh... <laughs> oh, she was quite a woman, your grandma. <laughs> Lily, I want to go to the reunion. I want to, I want to, I want to. All right, Herman, I'll tell you what. The reunion is still ten days away. If you can lose enough weight to get into your uniform by then, you can go. You got yourself a deal. I'll just stop eating. Oh, no. No, no. You'll have to go to a doctor and have a physical examination. Get him to put you on a sensible diet. I don't want a sick corpse on my hands. OK, you got yourself a deal. Well, what are my appointments today? Well, you have a new patient, a Mr. Munster. He's here for a checkup, something about a diet. Then you have a pretty full schedule till noontime. A diet, huh? Oh, all right. Oh, would you take these glasses to the optometrist down the hall? The lens keeps popping out on me, and I'm so nearsighted I can't see a thing without them. I'll be right back, doctor. <laughs> Excuse me, there's no one outside and I have an appointment. I'm Herman Munster. Oh, oh yes, my, uh, my nurse just stepped down the hall. Uh, come in. I'm Dr. Dudley. How do you do? <laughs> well, Mr. Munster, I see you brought your doggie. I'm afraid you'll have to wait outside unless he's had his shots. <laughs> I'm afraid you don't understand. I'm here for an examination. I have some weight to lose in a hurry. Oh, yes, you're the gentleman who wants the diet. Well, my nurse just took my glasses to be repaired, and, uh... I could come back later. No need, no need. It's just a routine physical. I could do it blindfolded. <laughs> now, if you'll just sit down over here, I'll look you over. <laughs> now, stick out your tongue. <laughs> Doc? Oh, there you are. <laughs> you mustn't be afraid of me. <laughs> now, have you, you ever had the measles, chicken pox, or the mumps, or severe uh, dizziness or headaches? No, just the black plague. <laughs> black plague? Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Something wrong? Uh, no, no. Uh, that's what I get for buying this equipment for my brother-in-law. <laughs> well, have, uh, have uh, you had your appendix or uh, tonsils or gallbladder or spleen removed? <laughs> No, not since they were first put in. <laughs> Quite a comedian, aren't you? 62.8. <laughs> Boy, that's incredible. Oh, not really. Uh, I always run a little fever when I'm nervous. Well, you mustn't be nervous. And now I'll take your pulse. Now, look, I told you once you got to get the dog out of here. Scoot, scoot. Doc, that's my hand. You mean you were born with this? No, someone else was. And I'll always be grateful. Not everyone will give you a hand when you need one. If you're gonna make me laugh, we'll be here all day. <laughs> now, you'll just step over here to the scale, Mr. Munster. Doc, I hate to contradict you, but the scale is over here. Oh, I'm sorry. The woman that does for me keeps moving my things. Now, if you'll just step up here. <laughs> clock already? Where's the nurse with those glasses? Well, shall we check the old tick, tick, ticker? Keep the best for the last. Mr. Monster, now, if you'll just sit down here. That, that a boy. Here we go. You know, I just discovered something extraordinary. I can't hear a thing without my glasses. Doc. Silly of me. You ought to be a doctor. <laughs> there we are. Coming in good. Doc, I think there's someone at the door. You're right. Excuse me. <laughs> Here are your glasses, doctor. <laughs> Thank you, nurse. She's pretty, but pokey. Well, shall we uh, push on, Mr. Munster? Is there a doctor in the house? <laughs> Lily? Grandpa? Lily? Oh, listen to this. It's from the doctor. What were the results of your examination? Dear Mr. Munster, I have studied the results of your examination and have reached the following conclusions. Your pulse is 15, your blood pressure is minus 3, body temperature 62.8, and heartbeat none. So far, so good. Furthermore, it is my duty as a physician to warn you that unless you go on the enclosed diet and lose 100 pounds immediately, you'll be dead in a week. But if I'm dead, I can't go to the reunion. Well, I don't know. That never stopped me from going anywhere. I'm going to lose 100 pounds and go to the reunion in uniform, even if it kills me.